welcome welcome back to my channel so in today's video this will be all about Brax that's probably gonna be the title of the video anyway but yeah so this video is gonna be all about mr. Braxton Dior my new pup that y'all seen that I got in my previous vlog that I just uploaded from Vegas um, I know that there's probably gonna be so many questions about him because I didn't really touch on him that much y'all just seen that I got him so I just wanted to do a full video dedicated to my son so y'all can meet y'all nephew or whatever um so first the first portion will just be all about him and then i'll get into kind of like a little mini haul of all the stuff that i've got since i had him oh, since i had him <laughs> like i really birthed him but since i got him all the stuff that i've uh gotten for him or whatever so right now he is in his uh crate it's actually his bedtime right now so he's a little sleepy and he does actually have a little cold which i'll get into that um once we get into the video but i'm gonna go ahead and get little man so y'all can see him come here he's sleep i wish y'all could hold on the camera probably needs to be a little bit lower because this i know he's this is how he's gonna be because he's so sleepy but um, let me scoot over, kind of get a little centered. Uh, I wish it would go lower. Let me see, what else could I sit y'all on? Cause this is like a weird setup, honestly. Okay, that should be fine, I guess. Um, but the light isn't really on me. I kind of don't like this lighting, but he's comfortable now. Hold on, Brax. Okay, so all about Mr. Brax. So I got him in Vegas. Um, first thing, I got him from a place called Puppy Boutique at Las Vegas. I'll probably like slide a picture or something of their Instagram profile. Um, they have a website, number, all that kind of good stuff that you can call them on. Um, so basically what happened was, if y'all know, y'all know I've been wanting a dog for the longest and we just so happened to go to Vegas and uh, I just so happened to tell myself or no, I just so haven't got the thought to look up dog uh, places because where I am, toy poodles are not like, you're not going to find one. <laughs> So um, I looked up doggy places and there was a lot of different stores or whatever that I ended up finding. And um, I think one of the places that I was looking at, I was looking at a place that I was set on going to at first. And then I don't know what how I ended up like on the puppy boutique place, but I just ended up on them and I was reading the reviews and the reviews were really well. They were like, they have all breeds and um, the staff was really friendly and everything like that. So I just ended up looking them up and I asked could we go and look at puppies and I was told yes but uh <laughs> you're not coming home with a puppy <laughs> that's what I was told so I mean I was really just going with the mindset of okay like at least I get to go and see and if they do have like the one that I want or like the breed because I've never actually seen one in real life. I've only seen them like on like I look at YouTube videos of them all the time. People who get one and all that kind of good stuff. But I've never actually seen um, an actual puppy like him uh, in real life. I have seen a I don't know what breed it was but I've seen a poodle. Uh, I mean not breed. I don't know what size she was but i've seen a girl walking a poodle before and she was like the chocolate one the really really dark brown one um and she was so cute but i've always known that i wanted a boy and i wanted either the uh like golden honey type color or i think that's the color that i wanted i never really looked at like his color and he is considered to be um apricot so he can basically get lighter or darker, but I don't know, like, it's just like, now that I look at the ones that are like the ones that I originally wanted, I'm just like, mm, not really, like, he just, 
I don't know, when I walked into the store, I just automatically fell in love with him. When we got there, they were actually going by appointment only, and I didn't I didn't know that, but she was like, we're actually going by appointment only, but, but fortunately, like they didn't have any appointments or something, so we were allowed to go ahead and come in and look around, and as soon as I walked in, he was right there in the front, and um, as soon as we walked in, he like, but his paws like on the little window thing like he just knew like we just we just knew it was we were for each other right she said Are, is there anything in particular or any breed in particular that you're looking for and before i actually walked in i was like yeah to toy poodles and he was right there no i said po poodles i didn't say toy poodles i just said poodles and he was right there in the front when i walked in and um once i seen him i was like oh my god da, 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 da. i walked around and i was looking but i already knew like he was the one basically in my head um so it really wasn't no point in me walking around uh sleepy man you're supposed to be sleepy not playful come on now i don't got time <laughs> um so i was just standing there at him looking at him for a while and then i walked around i was looking at the rest of the pups it was another one that was super cute but uh, it was a mixture and um, it was, I think it was like a burner burner doodle I think it was called it was super cute but um, she said that the burner whatever the I don't know the full name of the burner what, what the first mix is or whatever with the poodle so but I think she said that they get big or something and I don't want um, or no she said that it would be he would weigh like more than what he will end up weighing once he once he's full grown or whatever i was just like no and i don't know what they look like as adults like them on their own as a pure breed and you never know with mixes what they will look like and once they hit their um adult stage if they're a mixture they could take after either or um so that's why i went with just a pure poodle um He's not a mix or anything. He's just straight poodle just because I am like very picky. I know that sounds crazy, but I am very picky with them. And I'm just like, sometimes I see dogs and they're so cute as a baby. And I used to like multi poos, but um, I started looking up multi poos um, once they get older. And some of them, they may be really cute. Some of them may take after the other one and they just look a little bit like shaggy basically and i don't like that so i would rather you know get what i want so uh yeah that's what happened and i got him but i didn't get him the first day that i went and seen him actually the first day that we went and seen him i went in there and she let me play with him and stuff but as y'all know we were on vacation so uh, when you're bringing a pet onto the plane, you can't just bring him or her with you. You know, you have to actually have a reservation for them just like they're a person. They have to have like their ticket and stuff. They have to know. No. All right. He's going in his crate until I finish this because he's in trouble. So yeah, like I was saying, basically, uh, the first day that we went and looked at him, I didn't bring him home because we were still trying to figure out if I was actually going to get him because like I said, we were on vacation and we still had a whole nother day. We weren't on the last day and we had planned on going somewhere else on our last day. And we just basically didn't want to, like puppies, he's literally like a real child. So we're on vacation and I would have had to be like taking care of him and we're still trying to like enjoy our vacation basically so we just went she told us that you know we it was first come first serve but um you could put down a 300 dollars deposit if you were for sure i didn't end up doing that because i wasn't for sure and it was non-refundable so that would have been 300 dollars that i put down and then i ended up deciding no that no that was just not so i just um we didn't end up getting him i went home or not went home we went home to the airbnb or whatever and you know we talked a little bit i guess but not really i was just like whatever happens happens that's the type of mindset that i had about it and then the next morning <laughs> i thought that we were on the way to where we were going that we where we planned to go and then he was just he asked he was like you ready to go get him or whatever i was like <laughs> say what <laughs> say what say what 
said, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, huh? No, seriously, I didn't say yeah. I was like, huh? Um, he was like, what, what are the, whatever. I was like, yeah. Like, I was like a little confused because they didn't open up until 11 o'clock. And he was like, okay, well, we finna go get him. Uh, I already set the appointment. So I'm like, I'm like, huh, how? Because they said they all, and it was on like 10 something. But by the time we pulled up or whatever, it was like around the time that they opened. So we got there and we went in and she, it was the same girl from the day before. And she was like, so y'all decided to get him da, 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 or y'all gave in or whatever. I'm like, yeah, we were there for like a good two hours probably. Um, because I was on the phone. I was trying to get in touch with Delta. That's who we were flying with to make sure that it was okay for him to get on the plane because there is a limit of pets that can go on each flight or whatever so i was trying to make sure before i purchased him that i could actually take him back home <laughs> and delta literally had a wait limit of like five to six hours and the lady that was there she was i'm so happy that she was actually patient with us and stuff and i was telling her what was going on and why it was like a hold up or whatever and she actually ended up trying to get in touch with delta on her own she gave us some suggestions that didn't even end up working but then she was just like she it was so sweet of her to um she was like y'all can just go and do whatever else y'all need to do because our flight wasn't until like super late that night and um we still wanted to like Basically, we still wanted to do stuff during the day and it was other people with us on the trip. So I didn't want to just have them waiting like it was just me getting the dog. You know, I didn't want to just have them sitting out there waiting. She was really nice and said that she would put up his going home sticker and nobody else could take him out other than me until I came back to pick him up. She was like, you know, just give us a call back whenever you're fine whenever you're able to get in touch with delta and i literally didn't get in touch with Delta until like almost three o'clock the puppy place closed at six so um as soon as they responded to me delta responded to me i called them and i let them know whatever and we just had to get the the weight of his doggy bag and everything that he would be uh so that we can know all that kind of good information i don't know they had to know that kind of information so that we can know um if he will fit up under the seat because he considered a carry-on for the flight so that is the whole little process of me getting him um uh, and bringing him home he did get flewed out home <laughs> and he was so good on the plane he actually slept basically the whole time until we were landing and then he started cutting the fool but um pretty sure it was probably because it was time for him to eat by the time we got home and he had to use the restroom so he did that and then we also had to drive all the way back home and he i think he used the restroom again in the car uh, and uh, i just took him i took him out of his doggy bag and i had an extra like jacket or something that i just wrapped him up in and just let him ride in the uh in my lap on the way home i had to go and get like all of his little stuff and i just was so like i didn't want to take him i don't want to leave him in the car but at the same time he doesn't have all of his shots yet because you know it's like a you have to go every four weeks or something until they're fully done for like up to three months or something i believe and so i don't want to take him in but i also don't want to leave him in the car at all so the first few days were like terrible because i had to get like all the, i was like i kept on forgetting stuff and then i would go on youtube and look up this stuff or go on google and see what i need for a poodle da, 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 da. and then i'm like oh i gotta go back to the store and get this but i don't be wanting to go out because i don't want to like leave him so yeah it's been kind of hectic i guess you could it's not hectic but at the same time it is it's kind of just like if you have a puppy if you got a puppy then i know you understand where i'm coming from or if you have a baby then you probably understand where i'm coming from it's like it's just a whole different feeling it's just a whole it's it's like something takes over your heart and it's just like it, like that's my little human but it's not a human it's a little dog but still Today is Monday, so today makes a full week that we have been home, basically. And so far, <sighs> Bryce is good. He's doing, he's good and bad at the same time. He's good 
for the most part but sometimes he can get a little rowdy i guess you could say and he is teething right now so he loves that's why he's in his crate right now because look i have web scratches on my hand because he bites and i'm trying to train him to not bite i'm in the process of training right now because you know it's best to train early on everything so i'm trying to train right now he knows sit and he knows lie down he knows if i tell him to sit down i don't even have to point he knows to sit or if i just give him that look he knows to sit i'm sorry for all the uh, extra commotion but right now he knows to sit and sometimes i can get him to lie down if i will pull his treat to the ground he will like lie down onto the floor and the potty training we ain't even gonna talk about that because he do it whenever he wants to some days he, he go over there he do it other days yesterday he literally went right beside it and i'm like brax it was right there <laughs> but honestly this is just really i feel like god gave me brax to teach me patience honestly because y'all it is a lot of patience like it takes patience especially when they're puppies and you're trying to train them Patience is definitely key and girl, I, I don't think I had patience before, but I think and I, I ain't got it yet either, but it's, it's coming. I, I, I can feel it coming because it's like, I don't be wanting to be mean to him. Like when he bites and he gets super aggressive and it's like, I'm telling him stop, 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 stop. Or I do like the little things you're supposed to do, like turn around and ignore them for a few seconds and he's still biting at my ankles. Y'all, I swear, I, ooh, I be trying to stay patient. I swear I be trying to stay patient, but God working with me. I know I, he, we had a purpose with him, I, I know. But uh, other than the training and him being like, he, he's good and bad. Unfortunately, he is, he's kind of under the weather right now. Um, I learned this yesterday what was actually wrong I had to take him to the vet again after he I already took him to the vet to get his like first little thing of vaccinations or whatever because like the night before yesterday or the night before last um I realized he was having a runny nose and he was kind of like it sounded like he was congested and kind of having a hard time breathing so you know me I go on google and I'm looking up stuff and it's just like making my heart race because i'm like lord jesus lord jesus please don't let it be anything serious and then i had just recently bought a um plug-in for my room and i looked up was like plug-ins bad and it was like it's toxic and it could be like fatal to puppies and all this kind of i'm like lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus I, i'm telling you i was praying like god i'm so lord jesus please just let these toxins get out of my i'm talking about i had already unplugged it and took it out before i even looked it up because i was just like maybe it's the smell like y'all i was so worried i'm not gonna lie i did cry because i was worried because my baby was acting like he couldn't breathe or something so when i got him to the vet and they came out and they were like uh he he actually has a kennel cough and then the lady that uh it's over the pepper boutique place i'm guessing when she texted me to like check up on him and everything see how he was going i told her that he had a little cold or whatever and she was like kennel cough is very common around this time so that made me feel even better and then he also she also his vet also gave me some medicine medicine for him to take for a few days and then she said he will be fine or whatever so that made me feel a lot better but i swear y'all he just continuously sneezing and stuff it's just like lord jesus can the can the medicine please hurry up and work for him because i don't like seeing my baby like that but um i feel like i said but um a lot but <laughs> that is basically all about as far as him oh um his birthday is march 12th he has an instagram i'll probably put it up on the screen so y'all can go and follow him and when i first got him i believe he was like 3.1 pounds when i took him to the vet yesterday they said that he is up to either i was hearing her wrong i don't know if she said 4.5 or 4.9 pounds but i was a little worried because he also wasn't like eating for real for real so she recommended me this other food and he still wasn't eating that but he will eat it out of my hand he just said it doesn't eat out of his bowl but um when i took a 
excuse me, when I took him to the vet yesterday, she told me that it's okay to just feed him the wet food if he isn't eating the um, actual like dog food or whatever. So that's what I fed him today and he ate it all. So I'm really happy about that. And he's back over there asleep. He is a sleepy baby. That I do like that he is a sleepy baby, honestly, because I don't know why I've been so tired lately. Like I literally had a real newborn baby, but it's probably because I'm acting like it because even though he naps throughout the day, whenever he's napping throughout the day, he loves to nap on me and in my lap. So I could be tired, but I can't move or go to sleep, honestly, because he's, I, I have to be at attention because if he wakes up and I'm knocked out and he starts roaming around, like I need to have my eyes on him, you know? So I really only get sleep a few hours of sleep at night time because he has to be up in the morning to eat. So <laughs> it is literally like I've had a real child. But I think that's enough about him for now. Um, of course, I will probably update y'all like a few months later. Uh, give y'all like a sit down update on Bragg's um, month down the line or whatever but i'm not gonna do too many this isn't gonna turn into a puppy channel y'all will see him like in vlogs and stuff because now that's my baby he's a part of he's a part of us now that's y'all nephew so yeah but it's not like a whole full-blown puppy channel but of course i will give y'all updates on y'all nephew um so let's get into the stuff that i've gotten him uh he has a little bit of toys for now but when i was looking up stuff they were like you don't need to buy a whole lot of toys, just buy good toys that they actually like. So, uh, one of his toys is actually in his crate with him because I do leave a crate. I mean, I leave him a toy in there when he's going to sleep or um, since we did just come from being out, I'll give him a toy uh, if we're in the car or something. But if he's in trouble, no, I take toys out. I got a few of these. I think, okay, this toy right here is from PetSmart and this one is supposed to like, be like a really good uh, toy or whatever because it's pretty sturdy and it's supposed to be none rip basically like you know he dogs are very very destructive and when they like get to chewing on stuff and you know get serious with it sometimes they can tear things apart and this one is supposed to be sturdy enough to like handle that basically um so this one was from pet smart i believe this one is from target this one i got from home goods and this one has like some type of little oh it has a little noise thing in it too i never knew that actually because i never squeeze it at the top I only squeeze it down here but it has like this little stuff in it on the inside that makes noise that I and he loves like chewing up here on the little green part and then I got him this one that I got from home goods and uh home goods y'all know home goods has like a whole lot of little doggy toys and they this one has like the little noise if I squeeze it but I'm not gonna do that because he's over there sleeping it's gonna wake him up every time and then this was the first toy that I bought him on to have in his uh baggie on the way home from vegas and he doesn't even like it so i think it's like too hard for him I, he loves little furry stuff like this because he loves chewing on like pillows and um this next thing that i'm about to show y'all he loves stuff like that um or i'm not about to show y'all that yet i'll show y'all after i finish everything right here but yeah i've realized that he loves stuff like this so that's when i started to just get him toys as y'all can see these right here is what i got him like first and then once i realized when we got home that he likes to chew on like my pillows and stuff i was like okay we need furry stuff so that's what i got him and this one is like one of his faves so yes as far as actual like what do you call it uh clean up type stuff um he does have little weebly pads that i got him from target i believe these weebly pads are from target because pets aren't without um hold on my camera's about to there goes the big docky <laughs> but as i was saying as far as cleanup sorry y'all now bronco is getting started um I got him weeby pads or puppy pads, whatever you want to call them, and also uh, diapers. So he is a size small. Literally, I bought an extra small, a medium, and now he has small because the extra small was way too tiny. Then I got him a medium because I was like a small. I don't want to get the. I don't want to get a small, and then that's too small too because like the extra small is super small, y'all. Like it's super small. So I don't know who dog can fit an extra small. So oh, probably like Chihuahuas. Other than that, 
just no no um, and then the medium was way too big so he is a size small in his little diapers and then i also found these little whites at home goods these are the whites that i got him they're almost gone because i have to clean him up well, i clean him up with these wipes uh whenever he uses the restroom in the car and so as y'all can see that happens quite a bit um so yes i will literally pull over i don't care where we at i pulled over and cleaned him up because mm, that's you no know, he be stank and even if he pee because he be like slipping the slide in his feet and that's not cute so yeah these here are uh effective and convenient hyperallergenic um alcohol and paraben free and they kill 99.9% .9 of the germs and they were only $3.99 Oh, and they're fresh scented with aloe vera. They're supposed to be on the go grooming um, as refresh in between baths or trips to the groomer. Basically, um, oh, they have perfume in them. I might need to, y'all, this might be the reason why he yeah, That's probably why he be sneezing. I might need to stop using it. Perfume. Are they antibacterial? I'm gonna have to look them up. I'm gonna have to look them up that and then of course i had to get him his little things his little cups to put his food and water in i ordered a few other things on amazon though that i got him like a teether ring that i can put in the uh, freezer and then he can chew on that because i heard that he they like when they're uh cold or something so i i ordered him that i also still need to order him like a playpen uh if i have to leave him or something i would rather him be in a playpen you know open and free playing than him being in his crate while I'm gone. I had to get a air purifier for him because I feel like I don't want any dust or anything like you know I just need to purify the air in here uh, so that he can open up I guess <laughs> and just be in a good uh, environment. Oh, his bag. This is his little dog bag that they gave me, or they didn't give me. I had to purchase it, but I got it from uh, the place that I got him from. It's just this little brown and black doggy bag that he actually doesn't even go in, so I shouldn't have even bought it because he knows how to get out of it. He literally pops this, this top part right here, right open and pops out. So, I literally just carry it now as like a diaper bag. I would put all of his stuff in here where he would be at and carry it as a diaper bag basically. Um, and it just says pet life on the front right here. And then it has this little opener right here in the front that I'll put like his um, pee pad or diapers in if we're going somewhere. And then it's an opening right here on this part. It's an opening right here. And I can also open it like zip and then flap that down. But I'm not going to do all that. He finessed it. If he needs to be put up somewhere, he goes in his crate. Now when he learns how to get out of his crate, we're going to have a problem. Because he's bad. And when he learns how to do something, you can't tell him stop. Let me get this last thing that I got him that he doesn't even use. Because I feel like maybe it would be causing him to sneeze or something. Um, but it's just a little doggy bag that I got from Home Goods. Let me get it real quick. This is his little doggy bag from Home Goods that I got him that he doesn't even use because I don't know. I feel like just like me personally, stuff like this will make me like itch. Uh, sometimes I can be like allergic to different like little furry fur stuff. Um, that's why I don't really use furry type of pillows on my bed. Y'all seen that I did have some and that, uh, one of my recent videos that was filmed like on my bed, but I took those off. Um, I'm gonna just have to hit some other ones that's not furry because I feel like those be a reason why my face will break out sometimes. Uh, bless you, babe. But uh, yeah, so he doesn't even use this. Uh, it's put up, I don't know what I'm gonna do with maybe when he gets a little older and his uh, allergies, whatever it is, I don't know. Whenever they get a little stronger, I'll take it back out and he can use it. Um, if not, then I'll just find somebody else who has a dog and they can have it. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get him so he can say bye to y'all and then he's going back in there cause he's sleepy. But that's really all. I just wanted to let y'all know all about Brax, uh, my son, son. And yeah, the way he looking at me right now, I don't like him. Mm -hmm, girl, don't give me no side eye. Let's see, baby. Look, he literally comes and gets right in my lap. Cause he, if he could sleep like this, 
He would, but poor Tink, you going right back in there because you can't sleep on me, Tink. Come on, you gotta say bye to them. Look, you have to say bye to your aunties and uncles, if there's any uncles on here. I think we have the straight. My ge geographics are like mainly women. Look, Brax, say bye. Thanks for coming to learn all about me. I will come back to give you guys an update on me when I'm a little bigger. No, stop. See, y'all, he bad. He want to chew on my hair, chew on my fingers. Y'all see this? Y'all see it. Anyways, y'all, before he started getting a little too uh, out of hand, I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for coming to learn about my son, son and we will see y'all later. Love you, babies, from me and Brax. <laughs>